just just briefly, you know, you can hear the quail in the background, hopefully, and 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 see this this we call it early successional communities, or uh, I like to call it scrub or brushlands or bushlands or whatever. Everybody knows what wetlands are, and they know what closed canopy forests are, but not many people know this. And this is what's lacking all across the state, all over the southeast, is for that matter, is we've let all these areas go past this successional stage. It's so important for quail and all these other different species that use this habitat type. Go into, you see in the background, trees, closed canopy forest. Guys, we have lots and lots and lots and lots of that type of habitat of closed canopy forest. And there are species that do need that, but there's a lot of species that need this. And this is completely disappearing all over our state and all over the Southeast. So. Hopefully we can get uh, young people and, every, and other wildlife managers, private landowners involved in managing their land for this type of habitat. If you want quail, this is what you gotta have. They're not a, they're not a forest bird and they're not a true grassland bird. They're in between, and that's what we call it, the, the bushland. So uh, that is a, a disappearing place. Used to, this was just kind of secondary on farms. This was just, this kind of habitat was found everywhere in fence rows, brush rows, along uh, how old house sites, along the highway. Anyway, now it's all being mowed or it's grown into closed canopy forest. Uh, that's, that's the two. So we need more of this and hopefully this, this will stimulate some people to be interested in this type of habitat and let's help our quail.